Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we are on uh, leg number six of the Bush Trip Interstate 5, uh, part of the part three, uh, the Ashland Parker to Brown Field. And today we are flying from uh, Elk Hills Button Willow, which is L62 to Whiteman, uh, airport. Uh, it's uh, KWHP and it's about uh, 87 nautical miles. So uh, should be a little bit more interesting than the one that we, than the leg that we flew yesterday. That was all farmland and they really didn't have much to say. I think this one's going to be a little bit more interesting. We do have to go over uh, the, the mountains. I think we're going to climb up to uh, 7,000 foot elevation just to get over and then uh, uh, at that point we'll need to drop down and land at uh, Whiteman so let's go ahead and get started once I'm set up in the cab I'll uh, catch back up with you all okay I think I am ready to take off we're set we're going to climb up to 6,800 uh, foot uh, elevation at uh, 500 uh, uh, feet per minute and <clears throat> she'll probably start talking as soon as we get started here uh, but she is going to talk about it's actually Thule I don't know that's a, a misprint uh, uh, that should be T-U-L-E same here uh, they do correct it down below down here but it's the Thule Elk Reserve and so she'll be talking about that when we take off and uh, so we might as well go ahead and get started. I'm going to minimize this screen uh, because we're going to be swinging back around. As always, they've got us starting heading north. And so you'll be able to read along down below uh, as well. So uh, once we get started and we get flying, then I will be able to point these uh, pictures out as we have in the past. All right, here we go. And we're off and running. Uh, I quit uh, running it up so we don't get that one message. And we should be able to roll up about now. There we go. And we're going to start swinging around. Leave the airport and head for the nearby Two Elk Reserve. The Thule Elk Reserve is a protected area established in the 1970s to protect the Thule Elk, a subspecies of elk that is endemic to California. The reserve covers an area of about 2,000 acres and is managed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. The Thule Elk Reserve is a popular destination for wildlife enthusiasts. Visitors can observe the elk in their natural habitat and learn about their behavior diet and requirements. In addition, the reserve is home to a variety of other wildlife species, including coyotes, bobcats, mountain lions, and various bird species. Okay, well, that's the Thule Elk Reserve, and so now we are getting on track, and uh, this shouldn't be too far up there uh, when we hit this one here, actually. It should be coming up, actually not too far. So let's hop outside the cab as our uh, flight gets on track here. Uh, let the autopilot kind of take over what he should be doing. Really are not too far ahead. So just go ahead and kind of enjoy. Uh, we should be coming up to this fairly soon here and then uh, the next one is about eight, uh, uh, eight nautical miles.
Okay, so here is the uh, picture right here. Uh, that's these strips here. Here's the road right here. Uh, this is that road. You kind of see the road kind of going through the middle of it here. So this is the Thule Elk Reserve, uh, I guess. Uh, I would have expected it to be a bit larger, but I guess there's a lot of farmland, a lot of area out here for the elk to uh, roam around in. Continue on to the nearby Buena Vista Recreational Area in Kern County. The area is known for its diverse range of recreational activities, including hiking, fishing, boating, and camping. Visitors can explore the scenic trails, take a dip in the refreshing reservoir, or relax and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. The area is also home to various wildlife, such as deer, elk, and eagles, making it an ideal spot for wildlife watching. The Buena Vista Recreational Area is open year-round and visitors can enjoy the different seasonal activities available. During the summer months, the reservoir is open for boating and swimming, while winter brings the opportunity for ice fishing and snowshoeing. I'm not sure how much ice fishing they, they get to do down here in California. I, I would be a little skeptical about uh, uh, fishing on uh, any ice ponds down, down here, but who knows? All right, so we should be coming up to this uh, not too far up here, up here. Okay, we are coming up along this uh, pond right here. You kind of see the little islands out and in amongst there. And then here are the uh, crop rings. There's three of them right here. There's one, two, three, and then this little half, half ring right here. And another half ring. We can't really see this one here, but uh, this one and these we can see. Our journey continues along the path traced by I-5. It passes the Skydive San Joaquin Valley Airport area and skirts the small town of Mettler. Okay, we've got about uh, 15 nautical miles to go to Mettler. And uh, so we've got a little ways on that one. So enjoy the uh, flight as we still climb in elevation. And we'll be able to point this uh, little town out.
here is the town of uh, Mettler. Uh, you can see this green patch right here. Here's the buildings along the road. So just a small little town right here, and that's it on the image. So uh, she should be uh, coming up uh, narrating here pretty quick, I believe. And uh, let me kind of scroll this up. Turn slightly right toward the mountain ranges and continue toward Castac Lake. It is a small man-made reservoir located in the Tehachapi Mountains. It was created in the early 20th century to provide water for the nearby town of Lebec. The lake is stocked with a variety of fish, including bass catfish and trout. It also has a small beach area where visitors can swim and relax. Okay, and this lake is going to be up and in here, so we will be uh, climbing. We're actually, we've already climbed. We've reached our ele uh, elevation of 6,800 feet, and so uh, we are going to start heading across the mountains up here. Here is Castac Lake, right here. You can see it pretty clearly, uh, the shape and everything. And here is where I-5 makes the turn, which is this little spot right here on the map. And matter of fact, there's those buildings right there. After about 10 miles of flying through the mountains, you will reach another small reservoir, Pyramid Lake. The lake is popular for boating, fishing, and other water activities. It is surrounded by beautiful scenery and is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. The lake is also known for its abundant wildlife, including bald eagles, ospreys, otters, and more. Don't hold me to this, but I, something in the back of my mind says I read somewhere that Pyramid Lake has some really uh, trophy-sized bass uh, in the lake. So I think it's uh, very popular for that. And that's that lake that we'll see coming up up there. And here is Pyramid Lake. You can see here's the fingers. Here's that finger right there on the lake. And then there's that island. So pretty pretty easy to pick this one out. And you can see I-5 still flowing on down on towards the metropolitan area. This mountainous area is rich in natural reservoirs. The next one planned by our route is Castaic Lake. Okay, she didn't have too much to say on that, but that reservoir right there on the picture is going to be up and over there. So we'll just keep enjoying the flight. Uh, like I said, I thought this would be a little bit more scenic, a little more interesting flight today than the one, uh, uh, the last leg.
All right, here we are. We're at Castaic Lake. Uh, you can see this little little reservoir right here. Here's where the uh, lake makes a little hook right here. You can see that. And here's this stretch of buildings uh, along I-5 right along there, uh, which is right there. And then there is the river kind of flowing on out. Immediately after Castaic Lake, you will see Castaic Lake in a smaller reservoir on the left. Continue toward Castaic Junction. It is a freeway interchange located in Castaic. It connects Interstate 5 with State Route 126, providing a crucial link between the San Fernando Valley and the Santa Clarita Valley. And that is the uh, junction right up here. We'll see it here in a little bit. Uh, it's just a little short distance in uh, between. Uh, so you can kind of look. There's this pond or reservoir right here. That's going to be these uh, right here. You can see the uh, bushes and stuff uh, growing in the pond itself. And then uh, this patch of open area is this right here and then these set of buildings are going to be these set of buildings right here so the interchange is right in this area right here as we pass over it and uh, once we once she gets done with the next one I'm gonna hop inside the cab and start coming down in elevation a little bit uh, as we've got to uh, uh, start uh, losing some of this to land at the airport. of Santa Clarita, our next reporting point. Santa Clarita is the third largest city in the county and has a population of approximately 210,000 people. The city is known for its beautiful natural landscapes, including the Santa Clarita Valley and the Angeles National Forest. The Six Flags Magic Mountain Amusement Park is a popular destination for thrill seekers, while the Vasquez Rocks Natural Area Park offers stunning rock formations and hiking trails. Okay, and that's this area right here. So, uh, and actually, actually, I'm going to wait uh, as soon as uh, she gets done with the next one, and then we can uh, start uh, start our descent into the airport. The airport actually, I think, is not too far off over here just by the uh, amount of distance that we have to go. So it should be out over and in there. Whiteman Airport. It is a general aviation airport located in the San Fernando Valley region of Los Angeles. It was established in 1946 and is named after its founder pilot and aviation enthusiast Paul Whiteman. The airport has two runways and serves as a hub for various aviation activities such as flight training aircraft maintenance and repair and air taxi services. It also hosts a number of aviation events throughout the year, including air shows and fly-ins. Okay, and there's the airport. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to hop in the cab. Uh, and so I'm actually going to start slowing this thing down. And we're going to click off autopilot there. And we need to start 
dropping in elevation uh, considerably. So trying to do it slowly enough, but quickly enough. Don't want to stress out the airplane. And I don't know what the elevation, I think the elevation of this airport is somewhere around 2,500 foot. Uh, I don't remember. Usually try to look these things up. And let's see if we can put a flap out. And actually, I think I see our airport up in the distance right there, those flashing lights, and that strip right there. So, as we are still steadily descending, we've got our speed that's not too bad, so we shouldn't be worried about anything uh, damaging the uh, aircraft. Kind of get lined up here. And I thought it would be a bit more interesting. We could get a, uh, a, uh, a jitter or two here coming in. I've got this set on uh, photogrammetry and so that we can get the best possible images down here. So once in a while it will uh, uh, stutter just a bit. So hopefully it doesn't. And we are about two and a half miles out. So let's hit another flap. Start getting this thing slowed down. There's a little bit of the glitchiness. Okay, and again, we're still cruising along I-5. Uh, you kind of see the big interchanges over here. So we are certainly starting to get into the uh, metropolitan area down here. And let's see if we can kind of stick this landing. good okay throttle off go and see if we can get stopped here so we can turn in okay we start turning now you know how quickly this thing turns all right and here we are into the parking lot and let's come to a stop here and there we are Leg number six. Completed. All right. Well, that leaves only two legs left on this uh, uh, bush trip. And so look for those in the next couple of weeks, and you will see those out there. Uh, so far, I have enjoyed it. Other than the last couple of one legs before this was a little boring. But this was a much more interesting uh, trip down through uh, the... Uh, uh, over the mountains and down into the metropolitan area.
All right. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That uh, will really help the channel. Uh, ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos. And I am doing that on a weekly basis. And so all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.